Hey everybody, Playtendo Guy here, and I'm back with another video. It's Monday, well it is the time of recording this, and you know what that means, it's time for another, well, not so weekly Blu-ray and 4K pickups video, where I go through everything I have had picked up and delivered over the past couple of weeks. Well, it's actually nearly a month, I haven't done one of these videos. This is actually going to be split into two parts, it's going to be one today and one next week. Because I've picked up some pretty good stuff over the past month or so, as there's been some really good offers on. So there's a, quite a big haul to show off today. So, so without further ado, let's get into it. So hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thanks ever so much for joining the channel. I really do appreciate the support. So yes, over the past three to four weeks I've picked up quite a few amounts of stuff. There's been some really good sales going on recently in HMV on Amazon, on Arrow, on HMV Premium Collections, and some really good 4K deals throughout all the shops I've noticed. But today I've got a haul here of a couple of games, a couple of Blu-rays, and quite a few 4Ks, so there's a lot to get through, so let's dive straight into it with the games. There's only two of them. You've seen one of them already if you've watched my Star Wars video game video, and it is Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I've been playing this quite a bit, and you know what? It's a really good game. Big improvement over the original. I know there's been a few technical issues with it on other consoles, but for me personally, I haven't really had much issues with it, only with the frame rate in performance mode. But I'm playing it on uh, 4k mode and it seems to run fine the combat's great and it feels like a brilliant star wars story that doesn't rely on the nostalgia of the films it does its own thing really well so that's jedi survivor and the final game is the biggest game that is out there at the moment I had to pick this up i did have it on pre-order from amazon but they cancelled it so I was rushing and turning about trying to find one. I got it from Argos and actually got it not too badly. About 40 quid, which isn't too bad. And it's The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I have been playing this all over the weekend and I'm absolutely loving it. There's such a grand scale of things. So much freedom here to explore and experiment. The game looks and runs beautifully on the Switch. And I wasn't the biggest fan of Breath of the Wild, I have to admit, but... So far, I am absolutely in awe of this game. It is stunning. You do get some inner artwork, and there's your little cartridge. So yeah, cannot wait to play some more of this. I am loving every minute of it. So next up is the films. And first up, I want to talk about a film that was sent to me kindly by a PR company. And that is the second site release of Picnic at Hanging Rock. Um, yeah, the team at Aim Publicity sent me over two discs to check out from Second Sight and the new release of Picnic at Hang and Rock. One of them is the film, the other one is the special features. And this came out a couple of weeks ago and it's directed by Peter Weir. You may remember some of his films such as The Truman Show. And this is one of his earlier films in the 70s and I honestly never even heard of it before. It's got a lovely special edition currently out here right now and it includes loads of extras but I'll talk about that in a bit. The film is very hypnotic, its colour palette is also a delight. The film feels like a mishmash of genres, feeling like a part of a mystery, part horror at times. It always keeps you guessing and it feels quite poetic shall I say. It's such a magical mystery sort of film that keeps you guessing throughout the end. It's a visual delight it is and I don't really want to say too much about the film because I don't want to spoil it. I never knew nothing about it and the less I knew about it, it made me enjoy the film a lot more. It's superbly directed by Peter Weir who did The Truman Show and The Dead Poet Society back in the 90s I think it was. And yeah, you can definitely see the talent on display here. It's a truly wonderful film and the Blu-ray transfer because they sent me the Blu-rays looks brilliant. So I can imagine that the 4K looks very impressive as well. This one came out whew, about a couple of weeks ago and it is available in many different editions. You have the standard Blu-ray edition which includes both two discs. You get the normal cut 
and the director's cut of the film, as well as a slew of special features. There's also the 4K edition as well, which is also a two disc set. And there's this lovely special edition, big box set that looks like this. And it comes with four discs. You get two Blu-rays, two 4Ks. You get some art cards, you get a booklet, and you also get the novelization of the film as well. And that is a truly exceptional uh, release by Second Sight. I will leave the links in the description down below for all the releases from Second Sight for this film. I'll leave it all to the Second Sight um, webpage, but you can also pick it up from HMV and Amazon and all good physical media stoppers. On. Next up is another Blu-ray and it's a Charles Bronson film. This was kindly recommended by my good friend Nigel at Rock God 2004. If you haven't subscribed to Nigel already, I'll leave the link in the description down below so you can go and give him a sub. He's a fantastic guy, very funny, and he's a fountain of knowledge. It's always a joy to have him on the stream because you know you're in for a good laugh and you get to learn about all these amazing films that he's talked about. Right, so the film he recommended me to watch is Murphy's Law. This one's sort of released by 88 Films. You get this really cool slip cover with it and you actually do get a book clip with it as well. This sees Bronson play in a cop called Jack Murphy. He is a no-nonsense cop who don't take no crap. And unfortunately, he has got a psychopath on his tail who's gotten framed for a crime he didn't commit. So he gets arrested and he gets handcuffed to this young woman here. And he breaks free from jail, goes on the run with her. And they're such a, such a mixed match couple that it's so great to watch. And they, they do not get on. They're like an old married couple. She calls them all the names under the sun and... Is hilarious as what they get up to. So they go on the run and he tries to prove himself innocent. The film is really good. It, it runs at about 100 minutes and it completely flies by. The action scenes are great. This is one of the best late Bronson films I have seen. I think this is a canon film. And yeah, I was really surprised by it. There's some great one-liners in it. A really good villain in it. She's one of the meanest bitches I've seen in a film for quite a while. And I cannot wait to watch this again. This is a really nice release by 88 Films. You get this cool slipcover and you do get a booklet as well. It's a picture booklet, no text in it, unfortunately. But you do get quite a few special features. 4Ks now, and there's quite a stack of 4Ks, I must admit. There's been some really good sales on recently, so I've decided to partake in them and picking up quite a few titles. First up is a film that I saw in Asda of all places. I've heard a few people picking it up from Asda for a really good price. I was like... Yeah, I'm never going to find it. And lo and behold, they actually had one in my Asda. And it's a 4K copy of The Shawshank Redemption. Brilliant film. I have seen this many years ago. I thought Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman were fantastic in it. It's based on a Stephen King novel. I haven't seen it for quite a while, so I'm looking forward to re-watching it. I do have the Blu-ray of it, which I'll probably get rid of or put it in a giveaway. But for 7 quid, I thought I'd definitely have to pick it up. Yeah, it doesn't have a slip cover, but I'm not too fussed. Picking up a 4K for 7 quid, you can't grumble at that. It's a masterpiece of a film, and I cannot wait to revisit it. These next few titles are all in the current Disney offer, like 2 for 20 on 4Ks. And they do these sales quite a few times, and they're always a mishmash of all different things, such as like animation and their Pixar division, to stuff like 20th Century Fox. And it really is a uh, Hobson choice what actually gets added into the cell. But this time, they've really added some great little titles. And I decided to pick up quite a few of them. First up is Bad Times at the Owl Royale. I've been hearing some really positive things about this one. Uh, I think it came out in 2018 and is very similar to the Tarantino film. It has a really good cast here with Jeff Bridges, Dakota Johnson, John Hamm. And you've got a scene-stealing Chris Hemsworth here. It's about this like mysterious hotel where all these strangers all meet up to spend a night and all like their past and lies and various secrets all get come out and it all leads to quite an explosive finale. Everybody's brilliant in it, the cast is on point, the soundtrack is absolutely stellar and it's such a stylish, really enjoyable film and I cannot wait to check it out again. It's just over two hours and again it flies by. And this woman here, I can't remember her name, she's called Cynthia Herrero. She is an incredibly talented singer. She is 
wonderful. She is a delight here. She sings some really cool 70s Motown songs and she is wonderful. She's got a voice of an angel. So definitely check out Bad Times at the El Royale. Put this one up with a film star and Francis McDormand, Woody Harrelson and Sam Rockwell. I know this one won loads of awards and I was very unsure whether to pick it up because I didn't thought it would be something I'd like. But I decided to pick it up and that is Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. This is directed by the same guy who done Banshees of Inner Sherwin, uh, Seven Psychopaths, which I haven't seen, and In Bruges, which is a brilliant film. I watched this a few weeks ago and what an incredible film. It's about this woman, she's uh, her daughter gets raped and murdered and she hasn't had the results of what she wanted to find the criminal who done it. So she rents out these three billboards outside Missouri, basically saying like, hey, why haven't you solved this crime, detective, whatever. And it's caused a lot of drama in this small little town and there's like drama going on with all the different main characters here. And my word, it is such a good film. The, the script is razor sharp here. It is hilarious at times. It will get you laughing. But then on the switch of a die, it will have you in tears. The stuff what goes on with Woody Harrelson character and Sam Rockwell himself are very quite emotional. Sam Rockwell here is a revelation. His character really does develop over the course of the story. It's just under two hours and it is a breeze to watch. It's a brilliant film and I cannot wait to check out again. And another film with a really good soundtrack. So that is Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Next up is another 2 for 20 in the Disney 4K So I picked these ones up from H&B. One that I desperately wanted to get, but I didn't know what to partner up with. But this was the film that I wanted to get. It was a Guillermo del Toro film, and that is The Shape of Water. Starring Sally Hawkins, she's been in quite a few things, most notably the Pant and Bear films. But I can remember her in um, Layer Cake, she was in that for a short while. Um, this is sort of like a fairy tale, sort of adult fairy tale film. Sally Hawkins has this sort of lonely character who works for on a military base as a cleaner and they've got some sort of scientific like project going underneath. And there's a creature here, looks like something from Hellboy and she falls in love with him. I don't really know too much about the film because I haven't seen it but I've known it's won a bevy of awards and it has a really good cast here with Octavia Spencer and Michael Shannon as well. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. If you have seen it, tell me in the comments section down below what you think of it. But Guillermo del Toro is a magnificent director, so I cannot wait to check it out. I partnered that one up with a film that I haven't actually seen. I've seen the first one and the recent one that came out last year as a prequel. But I've never seen the sequel, even though I do have it on DVD. I thought I'd upgrade and go straight for the 4K, and that's The Kingsman, The Golden Circle. Really enjoyed the first Kingsman, thought it was a great sort of fun, a James Bond sort of comedy with some pretty brutal and cool action sequences. The Kingsman, the prequel, which came out last year, I absolutely loved it. I thought the cast was great. I liked how it was all centred about World War One. This one... I've heard not so great things about, but if it's similar in lines of the original and its prequel, I'll be well up for it. Got more cast members here. You got Jeff Bridges, Julianne Moore, Halle Berry, and Pedro Pascal's in it as well. And we've also got Alton John, which is interesting. Haven't seen this one yet, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. I can imagine the 4K will look divine. So that's Kingsman The Golden Circle. Next up is a duo release of two 4Ks which came out last week by Studio Canal. I've been wanting to get them for a little while and when they released I thought you know what let's get them. I had a voucher from Amazon so uh, I got basically buy one get one free and that is the three and the four Musketeers. I watched this one last week thought it was a pretty good time. I thought it would be more serious in tone but honestly it feels more like a carry on film. There's so many sort of innuendo and sex jokes here. It's quite surprising. All you need is Sid James to pop up and you'd you'd be having a carry on film. You do have Spike Milligan here, which was quite a surprise. And you have uh, Roy Kinnear as well, adding some really cool comic relief. It's a shame that characters like Oliver Reed and Christopher Lee don't have a more prominent role in this one. But it's still a very enjoyable, fun, sort of sit back and relax film. 
Uh, I would give a good 3 out of 5 for. But I did watch its sequel, The Four Musketeers, on Saturday night, and I had a much more better time with this one. The action is more prominent here, and it's got a more darker, serious tone. Don't get me wrong, the comedy's still here, but it's definitely turned back quite a bit. Um, Spike Milligan's completely gone, and Roy Kinnear only has a couple of screen roles in this, which is a shame, but the story here is more better. It follows more about Oliver Reed's character and Milady de Winter's past. It's really quite harrowing at times what happens between them. If you've read the book or seen any iteration of The Musketeers, then you'll know what I mean. The set pieces are lavish between the two of them, and the action sequences here are more epic in scale, and some it's got some fun little slapstick in the action sequences that kind of see how it could inspire like the police story franchise in the 80s. I know this was a bit of a troubled production because apparently these were going to be one whole movie and it definitely does seem why because this one just ends abruptly. After what seems to be a modest fight it just ends and then this picks off more or less where it ends off. Apparently the director Richard Lester didn't even tell the cast that they were going to split the film in two so there was like a massive court battle over it. It is a shame that Studio Canal didn't release them in like a double pack, like a box set for 30 quid or something, and just released them separately because it felt wrong just to pick up one without the other. But I managed to pick them both up with very nice slip covers. The transfer is rather good as well. The colours look absolutely lavish. Check out Christopher Lee's character, Rochefort. His red cape looks absolutely stunning in 4K. Actually, he kind of looks a bit like Captain Hook from Peter Pan he does in this film. But for a solid Sunday afternoon treat with the family, the three and the four musketeers, you're in for a good time. The final pickup is a film actually my mum got me because she saw it on offer and she said it's a very good deal. I have seen this before on TV and it is a magnificent film. It's a heartbreaking film starring Tom Hanks. I do have the Blu-ray. No, I don't have the Blu-ray of it. I have the DVD of it. Never seen it, but I have seen it on TV. But for a 4K box set, I got the Green Mile. Originally 35 quid, it was 17.99, which is an absolute steal. An incredible film. I remember watching it on TV in the end and it is incredibly emotional starring Tom, starring Tom Hanks as well as Michael Clark Duncan who's absolutely incredible in here you've also got Sam Rockwell here and Harry Dean Stan Staten I think I'm pretty certain he's in it as well this is based on the Stephen King novel and it's all set in a prison it is brilliant stuff I don't want to say too much about it because if you haven't seen it go and watch it it's an incredible film and this did came out late last year on 4K. I can remember this box set coming out. And obviously it must have not sold well. Hence why it's half price. The 4K on its own was 15 quid. So for an extra 3 quid you got this rather nice box set. And this was the last one on the shelf. You get your 4K. You get a 32 page book. Two sided poster. Four collectible art cards. And four press photo cards. As well as a load of special features. It is a really nice looking set forward to re-watching this film as it has been a long while since I've seen it. I'll probably do an unboxing and review for it probably later on down the road because it is a very nice set. So that for £18 is the Green Mile. That's so everything I picked up in part one of this video. Quite a few good stuff here. Some really good 4Ks and some really good deals. Have you seen any of these films or got any of these editions? Tell me all in the comment section down below and we'll have a good old chat about it. What have you picked up recently? Let's have a good old conversation down in the comments section down below and I'll get back to you, I promise. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really do appreciate it. You take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.